Hello and welcome. I am Laura Cornelius, joined by Eric Denny. This Sunday, we have something very special lined up for you today, don't we? Pretty huge, Laura. Some late-breaking news. Joe Stapleton has signed on to be a London Royal for the day. Uh, there, I guess we should start with the, uh, the bad news is that the match has been cancelled between London and Montreal. Uh, we'll have more information on that in the coming days. But yes, a cancellation between London and Montreal. Marc-Andre Ladisseur is here. He wants to play in the cube for a second time. Wants to warm up before that EDC festival tonight. So, uh, yeah, we've recruited Joe Stapleton, who's found a, a, a jersey that fits, quite shockingly, and looking pretty svelte in it, too. So we'll have a nice little fun uh, one match uh, friendly for you guys today. Now, the question is, is Livbury happy about this? No. <laughs> well, to have signed Joe? Yeah. Entertainment-wise, she's excited. <laughs> uh, the fact that uh, there's no points on the line, she's ecstatic by those <laughs> by that news. But no, of course, Liv, who's been uh, working furiously the phones this morning, uh, probably will uh, have a little smile on her face as her buddy Joe uh, steps inside the queue for the very first time. He's never touched that iPad. I'm sure he's going to you know, do great in it, too. Uh, funny enough, Laura, you know me, I like to do my research, and I was a little taken aback by this change of, uh, change of uh, name here. Uh, you know that we had Mormon and and Selps rumored to play this match. I did a lot of work on that. With Stapleton, it's quite easy because he doesn't have a Hendemob page. So, pretty, he pretty easy. He has zero caches, which means you yeah. and I are actually both better poker players than him. Why then is he representing the GPL in this match? Mm. That's weird. That's weird. Maybe they think it'll be funnier than us. Yeah, I think it's more of a Twitter follower thing. He's got more than us uh, combined. So that's why uh, the good good old Joe is in there. And thank you for Mar to, to Mark andre who decided to, to stick around. Could have gone home, like, catch a few Zs. He's a little upset because, you know, EDC was last night as well. And he could have gone there. So he's decided to stay with us. Uh, in the At the bottom of the hour, I guess at the top of the hour, we have a France-Switzerland on Laura. So... Yeah. Mark, Mark, of course, a big, big, big uh, time soccer fan, as, as all us French Canadians. Usually we like to support uh, the, the French team since our Canadian national team. Not very good. Talking of teams, though, Marc-Andre Ladisson, manager of the Montreal Nationals, who are flying high, top of the America's Conference. Yeah, I, I think that's the main reason why he's smiling still and why he's still here and deciding to play this, uh, this friendly uh, matchup. Uh, things are great for the Montreal uh, team. Things did get a little closer, though, earlier this week. Uh, they're only 11 points up on the LA Sunset now. That lead was 20 points up until a few days ago. So, you know, Mark is yet to play this match here. We'll have to, again, we'll have details on what happens to this match in the coming days. Uh, but yeah, a really good position for the Montreal Nationals to be in. As we explained, there's still a lot of points on the table, so there's still not a playoff spot locked. However, they're in fine, fine position. It does look like Montreal will be, if not the, one of the first teams to qualify for the playoffs, uh, uh, barring a major disaster. What are your expectations of this? Who do you think is going to win? Um, a slaughter, a slaughter <laughs> fest. Yes, I do expect Marc Andre to actually see the issue is here, Laura, with my expertise in French Canadian culture. Marc's a good guy, so he's probably going to let a few, uh, you know, Joe, you know, probably let Joe get away with a few moves here and there, not wanting to humiliate him. But on paper, this is a mismatch of epic proportions and. Uh, I would love it. The, the folks in chat want to see an epic slow roll. Wouldn't that be great? Yes. The problem is, if there's one guy in there that would be doing the slow roll, we all know it's Joe. So really, really sad news uh, coming up for Marc-Andre, who uh, will try to be uh, nice and polite, and yet the other guy, probably not. Well, the players are ready and about to enter the cube. This is it. Montreal Nationals versus London Royals. This is a friendly, though. Just to remind you, no points on the line here. Joe Stapleton versus Marc-Andre Ladusseur. Players, please enter the cube. I'm kind of jealous of Joe now. I want to be playing. Fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, just half a million dollars there. Almost broken. That's great. Um, right. Joe, that's right. Hey, I got cards ready. If I'm Joe's if on I the clock. Before he gets there, does it fold him? A few have you mentioned that, that Joe has cash in a charity just, tournament like, as fast this as week. Can, so they fold. I'm, he won I'm a weekend at Bellagio. That's right. That actually Didn't invite me. Nope. Facebook and Twitter. That's cool. You ever played this? I, I messed around with it a little bit before the Aaron Paul match. I think I did something. You know how to fold? I do know how to fold, yes. <laughs> I know it all too well. I mean, no, I never fold. <laughs> I'm not gonna need that fold button. Oh, well, we still have the music. 
Marc Andre with a huge lead, Laura. Here. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. <laughs> I think that I think that hits your range pretty hard, right there. Yeah, yeah. Especially because it missed mine so hard. Shocking that Joe is uh, chatting it up. Joe Newcomb says it is already funny. I agree. I think I have some outs. And as long as the blinds are so. Ooh, wait, that was a lot. <laughs> Whatever. Let's take a peek. Did you see Olo in? Yeah, this could I be tell over you quick. That I did have suited cards. And of course, right now, still does not get there on the river. <laughs> weird, weird. Draw, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Mark Andre <laughs> confident in his hand. I think Mark Andre is going to be baffled you, most of this match. The pleasure of being you just able to bet that. <laughs> you like that? You just fold the You did not even have the fast fold. opportunity to scare me out of that pot. Well, hand one is done and Mark andre takes a sly lead. Look I at say, that. <laughs> Where did you find this Joe Stapleton picture? <laughs> My lord, look at that handsome man at the bottom left there. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's a few years ago. It's kind of a bit more hairy <laughs> now, isn't he? Oh. You know, I fainted yesterday. Joe did. He what? did actually faint. Uh, Storytelling. I spent all day drinking at the pool. And then I decided it'd be a good idea to get a chair massage, like in the Miracle Mile shop. And I started to get lightheaded. And I no word of a lie, people. Go, I was like, I gotta quit. You're at Planet Hollywood? Yeah. Okay. You went. You were at the Planet Hollywood pool? Yeah. How's that? Uh, it was okay. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's one of the. I guess it was Saturday. I guess it's, it's good. Not, everyone. It's not one of the better ones, but um, it was okay. Ooh, I like that card. No, you don't. Um, yeah. And so uh, at, during this massage, like, man, I think I gotta quit. Like this, I'm just. Lightheaded, and the next thing I know, people are like, "Are you okay?" Like I passed out. I don't even remember. Yeah. I was standing again when I came to consciousness, but severely dehydrated, I guess. There you go, folks. When you come to Vegas, drink lots of water. Were you at EDC last night? No, I was in bed. Charging up for tonight. tonight show. Yeah, I'm going tonight. You can tell. Got, uh, Doesn't look like he spent the whole night at EDC, does he? How do I reset my bet? I got it. Got it. Let me make it a little bigger. Pew! Two for two. Wonder what I wonder what John Little's thinking right now. <laughs> wonder how John Little thinks I'm playing it. <laughs> you know, Laura, I did mention that uh, on a few occasions I've been out with the great Marc Andre Ladisseur, uh, which is fine. He's a great Sick gentleman. Sick brag, Eric. You're yeah. turning into Griff Graff. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, he's a Who good guy. Who else you dinner with? What but do do uh, do I have had dinner with him. The issue is that when he takes button. off his that shirt, sucks. that really sucks for the rest of us. So, <laughs> please take your shirt off in the cube, yeah, Mark Andre. Right. Fold one and just keep one. Oh yeah, no, I've tried that too. It, it just work. sucks it back. Yeah, it's not like a real. All right, when Mark Andre checks it twice, I'm very confident that I have the best <laughs> hand here. So he can go ahead and try to value bet this. Let's see, our first showdown. There you uh, go. I did have the best hand. Woo! This is very fun. Thanks for doing this, by the way. I never get to play, so. You just need to get the showdown more. You're playing I want to play next. <laughs> Who do you think I should play? You and I were having a uh, head shaving match. Or the, the Twitter chat wants me to shave my arms. My, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Isn't very good every time I'd rather lose my arm hair than my hair. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm so focused on figuring out what, what I have and holding the iPad that I'm not even, I can't even look at you. Joe did actually live in London for some I time, so draw. fair enough, he can play for the Royals. Did he eight? Maybe. Make you pay for that. Yeah, that's okay. I, it's, the, it's the straight draw on board. I'm fine. Go mm. ahead. Natalie Storm <laughs> says, oh, poor I, Joe. I, I, I don't think so. He's all right. Blinds are up. To, the blinds are up. Joe likes to say that. Uh, Laura, as you know, I do like to spend a lot of time preparing for these things. Joe as well. Here are Rolling Joe's notes from four. yesterday's match. Mm. No, three, three, six. Six. I raised. You could raise. yeah. yeah. If not technical, what is there? I, that is actually an incorrect sentence. Wife's advice. This is going to be my first continuation bet. Here we go. Mm, that one I didn't know Joe was married. I uh, know. And if not technical, what is there? I think that's from Othello. There you go. Uh -huh. I got this big shitty grin on my I face. I don't know Othello, actually, but... 
No, me neither. Back in Vegas, you were out of Vegas for a while. Yeah, I miss I, you uh, last week. I, I know. Uh, I had I had to go to Fargo. You got here last. What was in Fargo? That's where they record Poker Night in America. Uh, the voiceover wow. for that. Yeah, it's out of Fargo. So okay. I went there. Whoa. I go there like every six to eight weeks to do that show. Joe Stapleton is on the London Royals right now, but we can assure you he will not be staying on that team. It no, is just for a bit right. of fun today. He signed a one-hour contract. Um, yeah, there's like a little <laughs> to play this friend. One hour? You think he's going to last one hour? <laughs> I think it's more going to be 17-minute like like contract. Yeah. Maybe not even that. Like We're paying him by hour, Laura, so. Like yeah. one block. Yeah. Look at Joe, oh, sorry, how smooth he is here with the, those trips. It's always the best at the table when someone's like talking, and you're like, hey, you're really nice, but didn't you just... Act. This is what's happening. Exactly. Mark Andre's feelings right oh, now. Oh shit, I hit bet, then check. Yeah. Damn it! Liar. Full house for Joe. Oh, and yeah, he gets zero he's value. He can sound. smell it. Joe's talking that too much. Oh, he's played that great. He's talking too much. He's clearly got a hand. Well, not from this hand. I don't think Liv is going to pick him as a wildcard next year. Well, mm -hmm. I was really impressed that like my story didn't stop when that happened. When I saw that I had trip yeah. eights and yeah, I just like kept, just kept going. Kept going. That's he, something I'd, read, I'd have worked really hard on that. Just he was then. great there. You're right. You're right, Joe. Good job. Just don't click the check button on the river next time against a professional player. <laughs> just, I'll look you up also before jumping in here. <laughs> See what I was against. Sorry to have wasted your time. I don't, I don't play Not enough. Not too many flags on there, huh? Zero. Zero Ouch. flags. I don't, I don't play that many hand and mob eligible tournaments. I think I've played maybe five in my entire life. Well, I've played... Two. Play cherry and I've cashed him one. Uh, this past week. It's quite I a good did. rate, Look isn't it? Look at you interviewing me. Cool. Look at this yeah. guy. He's the, he should be the one doing the commentary. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> that Jacob Zalewski All In for CP tournament they do right. every year. It's like they get tons of celebrities to come out, and uh, that's why I was so drunk at the pool but, yesterday. But you were one of the you were invited as a pro player. Uh, no, uh, I was invited celebrity? as a punter. As punter? a come donate money to this charity tournament. Five bucks says Joe talks about Lawyer Malloy, that NFL player he hung out with yesterday oh, at some yeah. point here. Definitely. Yeah, name dropping soon. I'm not betting because I agree. You know it. Joanne Lou um, is in the chat. Hey, Joanne, how you doing? Let's go, French doll. Yesterday, because I met this guy. Who used to play for the Patriots, Lawyer Malloy. Oh, I am yeah. in. Here it comes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just, we uh, didn't shake it though. I'm not giving you no, 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 no. Let's drink some of that concussion money down at the, <laughs> the <laughs> Cabanas. Schwan, welcome. Bad news for Schwan Liu and the Montreal Nationals. Points are not on the line here because if they were, the Nationals would be to do this. looking good. Should do it more. All right. It works. Lord Joe Stapleton has a lead in this epic what? friendly. Yeah. Yeah. What? He has more BBs. Mark Andre. Joe's looking great in that Thanks shirt, guys. Sure. He's yeah. looking fantastic. Has he been working out? I think he has. Some someone in the cube this morning. Look, it's a long way from London, obviously. Yeah. So, by the way, you should take this cube to EDC. Like, how fucking bomb would this be? And Joe swears. <laughs> like, this is like your little cube where like people are dancing. He's allowed like to swear in the cube. It's yeah. not the worst of it's ideas, Joe. Too close. I don't well, know. we'd have to reverse the reverse the walls, right? Where we can see and they can't, because that's not going to be all. Yeah, that's all true. That fun, that's you know? true. Even, even though we put that in the middle, we're still not going to see anything. That's a good point. Taylor Swift asking you if we can ask Joe to talk about his Vegas dates. This is a family-friendly show. Joe has some scary, scary stories. Oh yeah, time. I've heard some of them. I can uh, reveal. Oh. To be honest, I thought I was just distracting you with my story. I don't know if I could get away with one there. I'm, just, I'm done now. It's not a bad way to play if you Joe. Just distract with silly stories. Also, he's got no. nothing to lose. Marc Andre, if he loses this, he is out of the GPL. That's what happens here. It's loser leaves town match. And head they, shaved they as well. The, uh, the show card feature. Yeah, that'll be there eventually. At least show sure. one, show two. You limped. I did limp in, that's right. Stack sizes, felt, felt I'm right. I'm just changing my strategy. Like, I've just been, you know, I'm just trying to adapt. Mark Andre now taking the lead. Oh, you go with the that two. Works every time. You go with the two. The double, the, the double boop, thumb. Yeah. yeah, I do one of these do guys. For a single fold or a, a double fold? Um, 
I've never, I've never touched this cube thing, Elora. What? I don't know what, what I would do now. Let's do it. Do you play with your cards up the whole time, or do you ch hide them again? I uh, hide them. Yeah. Okay. I still, still questions. think that there, you, could, there could be a reflection someone, or something. Either Laura or Eric is in your ear. <laughs> we are not. Uh, exactly. Joe, you have a lot of it. You have a good hand. Joe, good hand. Club check. Oh wow, check, Joe, exactly. this is a really good hand. He'll probably uh, just check on the river. Yeah, probably. Hey folks, don't forget that at 1.30 Pacific, there is a game, a real Ooh. game. Raiding yeah, Con of the Hong Kong Stars, yeah, yeah, Zhao Samao, yeah, yeah. Raising Raising Sao Paulo Mets. Oh, I've never met Raiding Con. Mm. Big you game for both. I have met Zhao Samao. Like people who are Years like ago, just to play, but every time you're like in a 1-2 game in Vegas, there's always a guy that says raise. Raise every time. Yeah, every time. It's on him. Both the Stars and the Mets have 100 points in their respective division, and they're in a third place situation for both, so. Uh, I did. I, I just clicked match. it back, I believe, is what you guys call it. Oh, it's 3x, right? Woo! Uh-oh. <laughs> you going in there? No. <laughs> I'm going to go with the double thumb. The double thumb. Uh, I probably chased you. I probably had the best hand, obviously. Oh, for yeah. Laura, with the victory, the Hong Kong Stars bad. would move temporarily yeah. at least to Banner first Club. in the Eurasia Conference. That's, now I'm raising all the live long day. Now I'm raising all your money. That was thanks to Nano No Go. Yeah, yeah, nice little run before going back to California. He'll be back in the cube shortly. You can see the pressure really getting to these two players now. Spade. Yeah, spade me. <laughs> yeah. Good bet, good bet. Thanks. Xiao Samao is entering this match as the number two ranked player on Pocket Fives in online tournaments. He was the number Come one on, ranked Grandma, player last week. the floorboard. Joe has found the Dimitri Urbanovich yeah. crack in the floor. I was just yeah. about to say that was Urbanovich. Yeah, Urbanovich broke really our floor bad. a few weeks ago. It's bad television. What are your favorite TV shows? Are you a Game of Thrones guy? No, I know everyone is. Mark, Mark um, and I'm I are not, very much I'm alike. Not, I'm not, not. I don't gonna, watch Game of Thrones. We're not gonna be friends on that, but all I watch is pretty much sports. You're a sports and guy. You, and you watch. See, Mark and I have the same, same, same television right, habits. Yeah. yeah. No hockey. We'll have to find you two are so cute. I like to go to hockey. Yeah, we're buddies. Yeah. Where do you I'm go? Sure, it's not a bit more I than that. Kings a few months ago. Okay. Yeah. Maybe playoffs. No. Uh, before. No, it was a great game though. Shootout. <clears throat> then it won't be a playoff game, Joe. Joe showing his uh, hockey knowledge from the East Coast. Mark Andre, season ticket holder for the Montreal Canadiens. Laura, I know that's your Marie favorite Marie NHL Marie. team. I love it. The Habs. Love the Habs. I have a lot of queens. They are the Manchester United of, of the uh, Okay, I don't, love, I don't love the Habs. I know. <laughs> like a really good poker player is going to tank here forever and like think about like how often you're going to have... I, I have an eight and I'm just going to fold it. I mean, it's just... I'm not like a hero call type of, One, type of human. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Joe's got a very wide stance there yeah, in that cube, hasn't he? You probably would have bet before that, too. Just my. Laura, pretty weird that our producer Luis is quiet. Um, <laughs> I think this might be coming off the Chile 7 0 win against Mexico last night. Oh, so that's a cool. dear. The Copa America competition. So I do this thing where if I have a strong hand, I raise that and if was, I don't, I just call. Uh, he was, uh, he was throwing stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you know who wasn't throwing stuff? The Mexican team at the Chilean Wait, goaltender. <laughs> the keeper have? never oh, saw yeah, a ball. I guess we're up to 500,000, huh? <laughs> I think we're going off air. <laughs> yeah, they, our French team in the truck are very excited, but they might not be so excited in a few minutes as France plays quick Switzerland. Call. Very quick call. We'll be done before then, Usually folks. Usually a draw. 3-0 prediction. Mm. Many members of the GPI are at that game, Laura. We are not. We are not. We are here witnessing this amazing friendly. Joe Stapleton, in case you missed it, signed a one-hour contract with Liv Bore's London Royals. Oh, free card, all right. Uh, Liv agreed to this as long as no money was on the line, no Ooh. points especially. And Marc-Andre being a good sport, the match between London and Montreal has been cancelled, postponed for the moment. And Marc Andre being a good yeah, sport, sticking around so, for a few so minutes here, but also, in order to destroy the great stapes. Because I probably don't have that many aces. I'm just gonna fold. Stapes ahead though, 47 big blinds. Yeah, you could have come in. What was it? What was it? 9 5? 
Actually, I think no, we I have those are. the other way around. So Stapes has 52 big blinds. And no, Mark, Mark just won that. Oh, he just won. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Mark takes the lead. Man, I feel like I just had this hand. For those asking why Joe's playing, well, why wouldn't he? The number one rated player on the London Royals list. I definitely just had this hand. Look at this, Lord. We're We're the the stacks are even, Lord. Eight, seven. I had seven, six, two hands ago, and that hand I had four, four, four five. It just felt, felt no the same. No lies though. from Joe. Everything he said has been the truth so far. The, um, Stapes very curiously wearing shorts this morning, Under Armour shorts. I think he knew he was going to play. Knew. Yeah, Marc Andre, who's been in the cube, knows it's warm, but still likes to look good, sporting the Parasuko jeans and shirt combination. Good on him. It's great hair for so early in the morning. He's the type of guy I think that just wakes up looking Ooh. good. Confirmed. That's an action card. Huh? <laughs> that is an action card. <laughs> WPT Montreal when we were both poor, uh, Laura. That was a long time ago. CD, uh, <laughs> now I'm still I'm, poor. Marc Andre best. no longer poor. I was going to say it's the other way around. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's five thousand dollar chips. Five thousand doll hairs. <clears throat> you know, if you beat me here, more teams might just come. Uh, might might just not show up <laughs> and have you play instead. <laughs> Do you think the temperature might not be bad. I mean, in the cube is hotter like, than yes. outside here in Las Vegas? Yes. Well, actually, no, probably not today. Tomorrow, to, of course, yeah, not a not major lot. heat not wave hitting Vegas starting today. Well, America's it's conference, like, it's not really hot enough, is it? That's right. Oh, you mean vers in the versus, matches? Yeah, 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 versus, yeah, versus Europe. So all the European team might just, uh, hey, Joe, we got, you know, we partied too hard last <laughs> night. Why don't you come, why don't you, why don't you come in? That, if that's why don't you come in for us? If that's not already in the rule book, it will be express expressly written in the rule book later on. Yeah, should Zhao somehow not be able to play it on today, Laura, oh, Andrea Carney will not be signing Joe Stapleton. No. He just doesn't register with the Brazilian crowd. It's funny because when I was like, I was like, oh, it's maybe the London is like, I I'll do it, I guess. <laughs> and I could tell like everyone else also kind of uh, wanted to do it, but for some reason I got to. So I'm like, yes. It is Joe's idea. It was Joe's idea. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen-minute till. Just showed up. Fifteen-minute like, till. You just locked the door, make sure nobody would come in. You had well, your jersey on. I mean, after I sp stayed up all night, like slashing Vanessa's tires and making sure that yeah. Mormon didn't wake up on time. <laughs> Obviously, I had to come. Prepare. That would be hilarious That's if that was true. <laughs> the, the players are all both laughing, but Marc Andre will have the last laugh in this hand, or last laugh. It's probably better than what I just said. To the guy on Twitter who told me not to play like such a nit, this is for you! Nitty McNitty. Ah, I Good had to clean nit the call. Whole way. Good <laughs> nit call. <laughs> You're like, you I actually. <laughs> when you snuff call, I thought, I thought you had. You it. thought you were yeah. me? Well, I thought you had. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had to give a little speech, though, just mm -hmm. because uh, it was a pretty loose call. <laughs> That's a hand I would almost always fold. Back I'd be, limping. I'd be wrong a lot too, I think, when I fold there. I don't know. You might be overfolding if you're always folding. I'm always that. folding it, yeah. So I was like, let's do something different this time. That looked like... Timmy asking us to uh, crank up the heat in the cube every time the blinds go up. That is not necessary. That is done automatically. Yeah, it's pretty hot in there. In a two people entering each other's body, Laura. So Regent, yeah. Check changes things a bit. That ace changes things slightly. I like this Twitch comment saying Jamie Staples is doing stand up somewhere. It's as if Jamie Staples and Joe Stapleton switched bodies. Yeah. In case you aren't with us, Joe told a fantastic story where he uh, fainted yesterday after meeting NFL legend Lawyer Malloy. I think that's what happened, yeah, right? That's the reason he fainted. I think turn. so. Bad fold. Got a bit yeah. much, didn't it? Okay. By the way, pro this. move by Joe in that pick he took with Lawyer Malloy yesterday. Lawyer Malloy has only been retired for a few years from the NFL, but still has that NFL player Out body. Was not wearing a shirt. Joe deciding to go with a shirt in order not to be humiliated by the monstrous 
Lawyer I Malloy. Nine, I had 9 8. Had the close to the nut low, but not quite. Okay, so I was winning. I had a pair. Oh, sure, fold to my ace king, why don't you? If you're folding there all the time, you're probably overfolding, though. <laughs> you get so excited. You get so excited when you raise. Oh, I sure did. Ooh. Taylor Swift asking <laughs> if Joe knows he's playing poker and not Tinder. Mm, probably not. So what I got? Uh, I got like 13 big blinds. Is that all you got? I can't I see. I was just seeing who this uh, NFL guy is. Laurie Malloy, yeah, former well, why didn't he New England me Patriot. Out? Jeez. Maybe because I stood him up on Friday night. You did. You did. <laughs> and I knew you would, too. That's pretty mean. <laughs> A.G. Schmidt, this is brutal. <laughs> Could not agree more. Very true. We thought Stapes had a chance. Sure. He's representing the whole GPL family, and he is just doing terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ace that's on the awesome. river. That's how you play it, Joe. Good job. Really? That's cool, though. Man. The only way that he's going to win this match is if he sucks out on the river, and that's the he's doing great there. Oh. Great job. Yeah, he's uh, sucking out on the river I'd say it's quite a lot. The call he's still down there, 32k, 62k. What do I actually have here? Come on, Joe. Let's let's do this. Uh, okay. Jerong, no, this is not for money. This is very much for pride. It is a friendly between I mean, our own Joe Stapleton and Marc Andre Ladisor. Joe has no money. I think we should have made them do a fun prop bet, though, shouldn't we? Yeah. We wanted to, but all you kept on requesting is a shirt off and only for Marc Andre, win or lose, which is a little weird, Laura. That's not how prop bets work. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, watch while We've Joe changed it. his top. Yeah. Oh, God. Some more than others. Can we get those Montreal National tops in there? Like Come really on. Yeah, we'll have to talk to UPS. I don't know where those jerseys are. So I put myself in a really good position here. <laughs> oh, that's professional. I don't even have a card that matches the colors. That was a sneeze for me, oh, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, now we got a real, we got a great shoving stack now. What's Joe's full name? It is Joseph Stapleton. Do it this hand. S T A P L E T O N. Yeah, I don't need to shove. He resides in Los Angeles, originally he from does. the New York area. Albany, I believe. Oh, wow. That is like way a capital of New York. I did not know he was a northern New York guy. Call icon, bless you, Laura. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, call icon. So I've got a little tickly. I can't help if I sneeze. On you. Can anyone stop themselves Good sneezing? I was just checking my cards. Yeah. Just trying to see how many clubs I have. You got more than one? <laughs> I have at least one club. And at least one Poker king mindset. Of if Laura plays next game versus Mark, shirts versus skins, what does that mean? Why would you even ask that question? You know exactly <laughs> what that means. Corn dog, folks. <laughs> and she is just struggling. After she sneezed, I mean, everything went away. <laughs> Um, I'm You're guessing lucky. that uh, shirts versus skins means a team has shirts on, the other team does not. Gone, yeah. I'm guessing he does not want to see Marc Andre no. without a shirt. But why would he not? I'm in for 1600 right now. Yeah, yeah, you limped. Laura Cornelius, everyone. You can send your emails to Laura <laughs> at hotmail.com. Here we go. Now the blinds really matter. 1,000, 2,000. Dirty outs, just exactly what I was saying earlier about going to a club with Marc Andre and he takes his shirt off. That's exactly true. Jo Joe looks great until we put him in a split screen and then it's unfair and not cool. He looks better when he's had his uh, tanning done. Did you notice how the cube lights are different than these lights? Because look how nice he looks. But sometimes here next to me, we both look like we've had way too much sun. Oh, hello. Eh, not really. You want to come help me with my decision? Yeah. There we go. I Let's go check it out. Nah, Joe. This might be it, guys. This nah, might be it. We don't want to see back here, Joe. Just go just on the, the other side. side and come help me with a decision. Joe will decide. I, you know, I have extra information. 
Joe will decide what Mark Andre does here. <laughs> Joe, very yeah. nervous. What would you do with that? God, it's so close, right? Yeah. It's so close. Like, I mean, do you have like two overs? Like a name? If you have a name, you have a higher pair. I'm dead. I know, right? One, one is better You're than so none. You're so far low. behind if I have a bigger pair. <laughs> God, it's just such a, you know, flip a coin. I don't know. I, c I can't really help you there. <laughs> like nine's it's is good right information from Joe. I say tens is a call, eights is definitely a fold. Call, nine's fold? Okay. Here we go. Oh, you got a call. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Let's call. do it. Come on, queen. Uh, with the queen. Hey. There we go. And he hits his queen, oh, God, obviously. It's, so good poker. it's like crazy how good I've gotten from being in the booth. Uh, you deserve that one. <laughs> God, I was hoping good. it was aces, like when I came over, yeah. and I was like, oh, maybe... I was it's like, hard to have aces. Yeah, it's hard to like just up. conjure yeah. aces right there. Boy, Mark Andre Lado Sir with the uh, great analysis That felt there. like aces. Hard to have aces. Mark Andre still with the lead oh, in this... play poker again now. Yeah, but Joe is too. back in the game. In case you're just joining us, a friendly competition here between Mark Andre Lado Sir of the Montreal Nationals and Joe Stapleton of the Global Poker League. To the winner that goes to spoils and nothing else. Both with a flush draw here, Joe, this with a better one. This is a situation one. where there's a lot of good turns for me, Marc Andre. There's a lot of good turns for me. Some spade. Spade's a good turn for me. Broadway cars are good for me. That's a good turn too. Yeah. Join us later today where the GPL Heat 3 re resumes. Match 95 as Raiden Khan of the Hong Kong Stars Ooh. plays Zhao Samao. This is why he's so good, everybody. The number two ranked player this online. Is why he's good. This is why he's one of the best for the Sao Paulo. Hong Kong versus Sao Paulo. Dead, dead, both dead. teams with 100 points. Both teams in third place in their conference. Therefore, important points on the line for each. Said that Broadway cards were good for me. He bet it anyway. <sighs> I'm just going to improve. I could, so let you, I could let you watch this one, too. You have to run over. <sighs> Next time. As they talk about it. <laughs> Making sure. <laughs> well, I don't want to see the next one. Uh, Tomorrow, Berlin plays New York. Another big game on Tuesday. Kind of like, you know, I don't Rome need, I don't need LA. charity. And on Wednesday, we wrap you, up you Heat 3, pity, Paris versus yeah, San Francisco. I the pity uh, playing it blind. Or the opposite of blind. You tried to bet and then you check. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I don't know if I could handle. I don't know if I could handle. Ooh, hold on. It's five thousand. I raise. Right. Man. AJ <laughs> Schmidt asking if Joe is doing this on purpose, playing bad. No. No, that is yeah. Joe playing. Yeah. yeah. And to be yeah. fair, he's playing yeah, an I'm accomplished already, poker star. I wish I could hear the commentary on all this. Uh, you you, you probably you don't, Mark Andre. Like I think, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, we, if we can get them to play another one after, we should do the commentary as well, so we can tell them what cans they have, and Joe would still lose. Um, I feel like I've already like I've put up a respectable battle yeah. here. So, Thank unless you. I unless I watch the footage and I've literally made every single wrong decision. No, you made a great showing so far. So I don't care, and I, this is why I'm actually not good at poker at all. One of the reasons because I'm not competitive. Like I don't, yeah. I don't really want to win. <laughs> I'm not gonna flip a coin this time, but. Oh, it is a bit of a coin flip. Come on, all I need Here is one go. of those little things Here to match go. the ones in my hand. Well, eight. But that's okay. Oh. Take some outs away, gives me some new ones. Astro now. Will we the diamond? No, we won't. Oh. Knocker, runner, runner. Great play. GG, you are That was awesome. And that is that. What a surprise, what a shocker that Joe didn't win. Yeah, London Rolls. Hello, I'm Liv Bree. That's my Liv Bree impression. She speaks just like that. Here, let me get this for you, winner. Oh. Winner, winner, Putin. What a very Canadian dinner. thing to do. What is going to happen now? Well, there we have it, folks. If we have a winner, it wasn't Joe. Shocker. No, th this is a big upset, Laura. Um, I was not <laughs> expecting the manager from the top team in the GPL here to to, oh. to, to win this match. Oh. Oh, this is a shocker. Oh. Unbelievable. 
Stapleton. Stapleton. Totally rigged out there. Stapleton, join us here. Mark Andre, please. Also, it just, I mean. We're, we're supposed to be attracting amateurs into this game, not driving them away with good looks and pectoral muscles and just really loaded question. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. <laughs> Joe, it's been Joe, a long winter. Joe, I just need to address two things from chat. AJ Schmidt asked if you were purposely playing that bad. Ooh, uh, yes. I mean, I was. <laughs> of course. I was, you know, in control of all my own actions. Also, a story that I had, remember when I talked earlier about, you know, you hang out with Marc Andre, he's a great guy, but then he takes his shirt off and that pisses you off. People were mentioning how good you looked on camera until that split screen happened. Uh -huh. And then, yes. you know how shitty that is? By comparison. That is not cool. Because you were looking great. You were looking great in your shirt, Laura. Am I, you were, he was looking, oh. I think so. It's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. We, we thought you'd been working out. It's like a before and after in an anti-drug campaign. That's what the... <laughs> <laughs> the screenshot was of the me and Marc Andre. Talk us through the hand where Marc Andre had nines and you did not fold his hand for him. That would have been cool had you just cheated that uh, You know what? I, I guess I just don't think of stuff like that, especially because like he's such a nice guy. Like yes. he's he's a very yeah. sweet boy. And so, <laughs> I, you know, if I was in there with like a real a hole, then maybe yeah. I would have done that. But plus, who who from the GPL would you have done that to? Yeah, can't say. A down. Because there, the there is someone. Again. There is someone. What about Aaron I'm Paul? Get Mark in here. What about a friendly I against Aaron Paul? Couldn't do it to Aaron Paul. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to run the risk that Aaron Paul like <laughs> didn't like me. That was my main concern. By the way, I was like I texted Maria home. Like, did, did Aaron Paul? like me did he mention me did he talk about right. me at all there he is what's up dude congrats hey play great that was a huge uh, huge upset we really thought that the uh, leader of the top team and then gpl would lose uh, <laughs> you know this match um guys i'm shocked uh montreal that uh, gives you an extra bonus 25 points just for mark being so nice so i haven't talked about this to anyone so that's that's not going to happen. The great thing is that Mark doesn't just do that to me at the poker table. He does that to me socially too. He's like, "Hey, buddy, do you got it? Do you have anyone to hang out with? Are you? Come on, come on, come on, come sit with me. This, a, this is my thing, friend. First thing I did when I walked in this morning, invited him tonight. Yeah, exactly. True. He invited me to his party bus at EDC tonight. So, and Mark, he's not. He's also the kind who's like, nah, stays with me, everybody. You got a problem with this? <laughs> stays with me. <laughs> he, he is like that, Mark. Um, 93 is the last time the Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. Wow, uh, was this a more topic. emotional moment than when you were in high school or, I guess, primary school? That, wow, were you, I, in, yeah, you I, were in high school. No, no, you no were, I'm not that old. God, I was in Stan high school. was in high school. I was in uh, no, 93. No, 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 I wasn't no. in high school you're, yet either. I, I think we're almost fourth the same grade. age. Oh, God, I was in ninth grade. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's bring back yeah, bad memories of me remember, being young. Of course. I think I was somewhere in between. Yeah. You were, yeah. Just like so you're asking right if now. it was as emotional of a moment? Yes. <laughs> yeah. that, that would mean... Than when you were seven or whatever. You're, when yeah. You're, I mean, maybe given... If, if I could imagine when I was 33, I'd get to play Stapes <laughs> on the, in an exhibition <laughs> match. Uh, if only he knew who Stapes was before the uh, age of 32, he maybe could have <laughs> had that dream. Big I, breakout year last year, huh? Right, yeah. yeah. I just, that was where I really mm, he, hammered it home. He did good, yeah. Uh, so I did have a like, sort of legit question. If I had beaten you, would it have bugged you at all? No. Okay, good. Because I, you know, obviously it shouldn't. But. You wanted it to. No, no, I, that was exactly would, the reason I why I would have chased you down for a rematch all summer long. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This That's, would not have been over right now. That is exactly the reason why I, like, didn't, I wouldn't. I don't want to win. The main yeah. reason is because, like, not that it would, but, like, he might care, and I don't. So I would, <laughs> I would rather... You're, 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 you're very sweet, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, I'm not saying I went <laughs> easy on you. Sweet. I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I'm not really emotionally invested in winning, and if it might hurt him even just the yeah. littlest bit... Just the teeniest little bit, then I want him to have it. He well, you did, you did you did perfectly then. You fold it when you need <laughs> yes. to fold, and you call when you need to call. And, and made you it look good. Yeah, and you, 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 you played a few. Hands. That check, though, when you had the nut, so that wasn't the best mm. move for you. But other than that, you played pretty he well. He had like nine high. Yeah, nine high. Yeah, actually, was, actually, he... You think he played that but, well? Yeah, he went ahead and like almost like either like fake check or meant to do something else and... Kept, oh, kept, kept carrying on with his story. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, Can I ask seriously, yeah. when you talk about not minding losing to Joe, let's talk about Fabrice Soulier, who is pretty much in a no-win situation yeah. in his first match. You know, you lose to a Hollywood actor who does have some poker chops, but it's tough if you're Fabrice because <clears throat> there's no way you win this, right? If you win that match, everyone expects you to win. Yeah. Like if you were in that situation, it's a pretty tough situation for, for Fabrice to, to be in. Um, I, didn't watch the, I didn't watch the match. I just, know, I just heard he got extremely unlucky that it lasted forever. Um, everybody understand this is a very turbo format mm -hmm. and that anything can happen. Um, we've seen some of the best players in the world get swept. And yeah. uh, I think I was watching some, uh, I think Galfon got swept at least the first time. Yeah, and, and, it's Mercer, and, yeah. and that, does, does that mean that Galfon is... No, it means he's terrible. You know, <laughs> he's, he's, he's worth <laughs> like zero if we, points. If we look at the, uh, the bottom 10 
uh, players of the of that's the, a great point of the GPL right now in points. I'm sure you guys may have yeah, it have somewhere it in there. here. But we do have um, yeah, Galfon, Tony Gregg. Yeah, that's quite right, scary. And yeah. Tony Gregg is oh yes. multi millionaires. All yeah. guys <laughs> who are doing just fine. right. <laughs> yeah, quite scary. So no, I don't think Fabulous should uh, is is taking it uh, in a wrong way. I, I mean, I, it it could be great for GPL if anything. That Aaron Paul comes out there and and win his first. Exactly. He, he played well actually. He played. He played player. just fine, absolutely. I, I mentioned quickly, I mentioned uh, Jason Mercier. Uh, talk to us about how you can win two bracelets and a second place in about a four-day span. That's, how that's, does that work? That's surreal. I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Just do it. Just, <laughs> just do, do it, man. Know. Just like, he, he just did it. I mean, he, with all the, I'm pretty familiar with all the action going on and, yeah. and all the bracelet bets. Um, you know, some people were betting that he couldn't win one bracelet <laughs> and that went, yeah. that went out of, that went, went out of window pretty quick. Um, the whole three bracelet now is a real uh, it's a real thing. So uh, yeah, I know, like, what I know, today's like the halfway mark of the World Series. Yeah, just it, about. Yeah. yeah, it is. But um, I think a lot of the like the ten Ks yeah. and the tournaments that he was most likely to win, he won two already and finished second. Like this, <laughs> this bet could be over with right now. Yeah. And, like yeah, he yeah could it be, should he, be. He, he had a major chip lead he, in that uh, that yeah. the one he finished he second. Be, I even watched it. That's how that's big right. yeah. this is. Like I was like, oh my god, I'm watching poker. He so. could legit like walk out this summer with all the money, well, all of the money in the poker industry, and everybody's just like begging to get. That's a not piece a good thing. That's no. not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully he'll want to invest in the global poker league. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we won't be seeing him in the cube anytime soon. He's got, you know, some priorities winning a third Whatever, bracelet. Whatever, man. But he's probably going to win his third bracelet, you know, tomorrow, and then we'll be fine. So, by the way, Jason Mercer won his second bracelet since we were last on air, and Fedor Holtz won another freaking tournament at Aria. That kid is just breaking the bank there. I think he now it's now known as the uh, Fedor Holtz Vault, if I'm not mistaken. All the money is his. So. That's just as impressive because yeah. he's doing it in Ultimate Hold'em, <laughs> right. where you know all the. I mean, the game is the geniuses, likely to be yeah. more just evolved, fade, and everybody's just actually playing those too, right? right. Just, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So, like, Fedor mm. and Jason are going to end up with all the money. Like, the, it'll be like the Lannisters and the Tyrells, basically. That's right. Of the entire. I know you don't watch Game of Thrones. It's fine. Yeah. But we could we could say it's like the it's like the Blue Jays and the Maple Leafs. Sure. Like they got all mm. the money. All right. You got the monopoly. Yeah, you got it. Like, yeah, sports. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, that's a pretty terrible comparison. Well, yeah, good job. Good Whatever. Job. Good job. Whatever. He's, he's from Montreal, not Toronto. Oh right. No, but isn't but he, he but Toronto's got all the money, as I'm saying, right? Well, I think he would disagree as a Montreal no. Canadians fan, but uh, yeah. as Who's the bigger payroll? The Maple Leafs or the Canadians? They're both there, basically it's a, the there's same. A there's a cap. There's a cap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. But the Blue Jays we'll, we'll, do we'll have a $130 we'll million dollar before okay. Okay. That's right. Uh, yeah. Cap in hockey. Speaking mm. of hockey, how about that big final tonight? I know you're really pumped to see LeBron uh, finally win it for... No. I, there's, I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped. I'm a big uh, Cleveland guy. Yeah. I, I, will, Cleveland, I will lay $1,000 right now that it goes nine games. Nine games. It's going to go nine games. We're going to figure out a way that to make it go nine games. No, I just... NBA is my least favorite of all of them. Understood. Exactly for what people are complaining about this whole fight. All the, the NBA is the worst. Did you hear about uh, Curry's wife? Uh, oh, yeah. Like, see, oh, see? Yeah. Yeah. I, read, yeah. Good I, was yeah. sure. I was on Twitter at that point. I actually Not saw bad. it live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was Solid. like, I I was ta I told you this story. I was like hanging out with Antonio Esfandiari and Phil Helmuth watching one of the I other games. I just wanted you to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, I was like, this this is going seven games. And they're like, no. it's. And I was like, I promise you it goes seven games. It always does. There's too much money on the line. The script. It's ridiculous. The ABC script. Yeah. Then why do you think all the GPL matches go three matches? That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's pretty Too much funny, money actually. on the line. Too much yeah. money That's on the really line. Funny. We can't turn down these 75 viewers. Come hey, on. Hey, hey, hey. We were in the hundreds. That's right. We got five. And a Sunday, too, huh? Yeah. And it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day, Joe. You know what's a good Father's Day for me? Yeah. Getting no phone calls. <laughs> that is that is my ideal Father's Day. Just every Father's Day, I just stare at that phone all day long. And as soon as midnight, I'm like, whoop! <laughs> we got through another one. So you've got a few hours left to sweat. I do. It's going to be a long day for me. But we got another match coming up, right? Yeah, you'll be sweating live on air at 1.30 Pacific. We have Hong Kong and Sao Paulo. Both teams at 100 points. Remember when this guy had 100 points like weeks ago? Like that was so long Been ago. There. By yourself? Or just your team? No, no, we'll no go, actually, I'll go with the team. I, <laughs> yeah, you didn't have, I, I didn't have many play, of the points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we will have... Uh, well, how many is he getting today? We didn't go over that. Do we not know yet? Are we going to figure it out? That's right, that's right. Okay. Uh, match is postponed due I to think rain. He, I think he should get all nine. Postponed due I think, to rain. I, I think he should get nine points. That's my that's my vote. But guess what? I don't get a vote, so it doesn't matter. Let's take a look at that uh, match coming up at 1.30 Pacific time. Zhao Samao ranked number two on the Pocket Fives online tournament rankings. Number one as of last week, so just a... 
beast of online poker, winning everything online while everyone is here at the WSOP. He's facing Raiden Khan. Raiden Khan, one of the most uh, successful players so far in the GPL, has collected almost 70% of the points that were available to him. He's the uh, first guy also to sweep a full six max ring, but that won't happen today. If he wants to sweep, it'll only Very be... Very difficult to the knock six players out of this game today. One, yes. yeah. <laughs> the math does not work. What do you want to do? Do, you want to just, uh, do we go home? Hey, let's end this. Short break then, right? That's right. We've got a little break. We'll see you back here at around 1.15 p.m. Pacific time. Mark, we thank you for sticking around because we know that uh, you have a lot of places to be and better people than us to see. Better things to do. Joe, uh, you represented the GPL fine, except for that Schmidt Tally guy who says you... That, that Schmidt guy really thought you were playing really bad. I didn't play that bad. No, I, I thought you played actually pretty well. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, you, you were great. You were great. You just lost to someone that's way better than you. A mm -hmm. couple more Hendum scores on okay this game. Okay with me. All right. For Joe, for Mark, and for the lovely Laura Cornelius who just decided to go on break, we'll see you later on today. Can't get enough of the GPL? Head over to globalpokerleague.com for the most complete and up-to-date standings, schedule, stats, and information on your favorite team, as well as full-length match replays, highlights, and epic hands from all of our matches, and much, much more. Slow.